Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back to our channel. So today I'm gonna to take you through a full day of eating as a vegan breastfeeding mom. So I will start my day with my pre and probiotic about one hour before any food and then I will do one frozen banana with one scoop of Sun Warrior Natural Warrior Blend as my pre-workout. I'll go do a workout, come back in, and usually by that time Mr. Max is just starting to wake. Sometimes Papa Bear is around to lend a helping hand and other times we are on our own. So today it's just me and Mr. Max, so I'll change his diaper, get him all oiled up, dressed for the day, and then it's time to head downstairs and make something for the two of us for breakfast. By the way, if you guys are interested, any and all products along with their discount codes will be linked below in the description if you want to try anything out. So this morning I am making a little bit of a simplified version of my normal green smoothie recipe. It includes hemp seeds, barley grass juice powder, kale, frozen bananas, and mangoes. Max and I will share that. I'm also fixing him some amaranth porridge. If you guys haven't already, be sure to check the description to see what Max eats in a day. That was a really fun video to shoot and I think you guys will really enjoy it. I always like to add some nut butter and hemp seeds to Max's porridge just to bump up the calories and those healthy, important fats. I'm also giving him some mixed berries. Those are both of our favorites. So he'll have a green smoothie along with porridge and berries and I will have my green smoothie bowl. We started giving Max vitamin B12 and vitamin D3 so I found liquid form and I'll just drop them in the bottom of his smoothie and stir it. I'm having a little Brazil nut along with my B12 and D3 as well and now it is time to decorate my beautiful smoothie bowl and enjoy. You just saw me make a, what I like to call simple green smoothie, so it's a lot more simplified than our typical green smoothie. As you can imagine, as Max gets older, I get a little bit busier. Needless to say, my recipes get a little bit simpler. I'm still breastfeeding, so still burning lots of calories, and I've been doing HIIT workouts twice a week, so this morning, that's what I actually did. I've been getting out of the house, doing super early morning HIIT workouts twice a week, just to kind of get involved like with group fitness and hold each other accountable and it's just fun to be social and I get kind of bored when I'm cooped up in the winter so I've been loving that and in between still doing lots of lifting. If you haven't already, you can watch my uh, seven day fitness routine video. I've been doing lots of lifting in our home garage gym. Like I said, just trying to keep it interesting and change it up. We are actually headed to Costa Rica very soon for our second annual Eat Move Rest Retreat. It is completely booked, sold out, which we are super happy about, but that means it's time to start adding more retreats to the schedule. So if you guys haven't already heard, then we are hosting a retreat in Bali this upcoming October 2020. We're super excited, can't wait. There's an early bird special going on right now, so you don't wanna miss out on that. And we've already started booking, I think we're up to three or four people, so get your spot now. You can find all the info in the link in the description. really sure what I want to make for dinner but one thing I am going to do is soak some chickpeas. We always buy dry as much as possible and soak them and then cook in our instant pot. Super hands off, really quick, really simple and it's a lot healthier than canned if you can remember to soak either overnight or first thing in the morning. So today's an at home day. That means I don't have to be in the office, but right now I'm listening to the Ritual Podcast because two of Dusty and I's very good friends, Robbie and Cyrus are on the Ritual Podcast, our favorite podcast. So their book launch actually is happening tomorrow. Even if you don't have diabetes, this book is going to be a major help if you are looking to embark on a plant powered journey. So be sure to check it out on Amazon. Next up, it was time for a late morning snack. So I made some green tea and I also put some mother's milk tea in there as well. And Max and I shared some of my homemade muffins. These ones are on the blog. I will link those below. They are seriously the best. I also took my 
prenatal multi. I'm still taking that since I am still breastfeeding. And it's time for Max and I to bundle up and get out for a quick walk with Bo. Brought a banana and my water along with because you guys know me, always snacking, always on the go. Hey you guys, just got home from our walk. I'm gonna chop a salad for lunch. And if you've been following for a while, then you know I'm usually raw till four. Um, that being said, lately, not so much. Just experimenting with other things, hence the muffin snack. And I think I'm gonna add some of our quinoa amaranth leftovers that we made last night onto my salad. But I would still say I'm eating the same amount of raw foods. Um, just not afraid to incorporate some cooked options that are super protein rich, iron rich throughout the day, especially because I'm focusing on those foods with Max. Iron is really important for babies as they're growing. So yeah, like I said, still eating the same amount of raw foods, just incorporating more cooked throughout the day and more raw throughout the evenings. How good does that look, you guys? Like I said, a little bit of cooked food never killed anyone, especially when they're whole plant foods, complete proteins packed full of minerals. And something I am going to take with it is one of these omega-3s. So these are vegan. So that means they come from algae, not fish oil. I started taking these when I became pregnant and I've been taking them while breastfeeding as well. Just kind of as a safeguard to make sure that I'm getting that EPA and DHA. If you guys are interested, these are also made by Sun Warrior, which is the protein we drink. You can get 20% off. I will put the link and the discount code in the description. Best part is no fishy aftertaste. I'm gonna dig in and I'm gonna actually put on some coconut and aminos. So what I'll do is kind of mix everything together and mash the avocado in a little bit and then drizzle this on top. It is so, so good. So Mr. Max just woke up from a late afternoon nap. Maxi wanted to be attached at the hip, so we're gonna chop some vegan broccoli cheddar potato soup. This one is in the link in the description. We've already made this on our channel. It is so good. So here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna saute some onion and garlic with the diced butternut squash on the stove top and get that nice and soft and then blend it with some nutritional yeast and salt and pepper and a little bit of turmeric for our cheesy sauce. Meanwhile, we're going to boil our carrots, potatoes, celery, and then lastly, put in our broccoli, mix it all together with the cheese sauce and make ourselves a good soup. And then I am going to put our soaked chickpeas from this morning into our instant pot. It's not an instant pot, but it's the same thing. Um, all I'm gonna do is hit the beans setting and let it go to town. All right, so I added just enough water to cover the chickpeas. I'm gonna pop the lid on. Make sure that that is in the sealed locked position. Come down here, beans, start. And that's it. So for Max, I got some more quinoa and amaranth out and put that on his plate and then some of the soup. We've got some fresh baby mandarins and peas and fresh cooked chickpeas. And then I actually set aside a little bit of this cheesy sauce just to spoon feed him because it's super good. We are sitting down to family dinner. We've got our broccoli cheddar potato soup and leftover quinoa and amaranth and chickpeas. This is round one. I'll probably eat three servings of this like I do every night, so no worries. <laughs> if you guys like this video, you know the drill. Give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you join us here at the Eat, Move, Rest fam. And make sure you've got that bell click to turn on notifications. As always, you can leave me some love in the comments below. Let me know what you thought. And share it with a friend or a mama who might be interested to see what I eat in a day as a vegan breastfeeding mom. Until next time, eat, move, rest your best. Bye, guys.